So hey y'all, it's your girl Lala and today I'm just going to show you a quick view or a quick tour as to what's going on in the garden. Not much because most of my beds are empty because I have cleaned out what has grown so far earlier between February, March, April and now I'm getting ready to plant the uh, various summer crops. So here I have my papaya tree and look at these beautiful papayas coming in. I'm so excited about these papayas. My first time actually growing them and I'm so excited. Look at that. Can't wait to make my curry green papaya. Over here I have a fever grass plant. I have two of these by the way. And I love me some fever grass tea. It's a beautiful fever grass or lemon grass they call it. But in Jamaica, we know it as fever grass. Okay, here's another view of my papaya. As I say, nothing much is in my garden because I've cleaned out most of what was there. I had tomato plants in this bed and I did get a lot of tomatoes. Over here, I have my eggplant and tomatillo plant. And there's still a few on here. I did already harvest the majority. Still have a couple of plants. But I think after so many fruits from this tree, it's taken a break a little bit. But as you can see, I have a couple more blossoms coming in. So, more to come, more eggplants to come. Okay, here I have a pepper tree. Not sure if this is a scotch bonnet pepper or not, but as you can see, I have a nice big pepper right there, and I have another one right there. I have an alpena plant not doing too well but it has two two peppers on there there goes my green beans another green bean plant here I'm so disappointed these are Irish potatoes and I don't know what happened they are not doing well they were looking so much healthier earlier now I don't know what's going on here I have a sweet potato that springs back last year I had this whole thing was covered in sweet potatoes this bed for the summer and as you can see this one it's self seeded and it's coming back those are some more colored green plants and my cabbage I am I think I'm gonna take this one up it's been there for a while and as you can see, it's not really doing much. Not really doing much. So I don't know if I should leave it or I should just, you know, use whatever is there. I don't know. Let's continue to watch it. Here's my pigeon peas tree. And there's a few, a few pods on here. Nothing much to talk about. It's summertime, so basically you're not gonna see much. And this bed, I had some corn. The worms, of course, damaged my, my corn. I did not get much of it, of anything from these corn. 
However, I can't uproot them even though they're dry because I have carrots in here and I have to wait until these carrots are ready to be harvested before I can remove the plants. I might cut them down a bit, but I cannot uproot them because they will interfere with the uh, carrots. And here I have some more corn coming in. As you can see, those are corn coming in. Hopefully this set will do better. So corn and peas, and my peas are not looking too healthy. They have been fighting with the bugs, the heat. I don't know, it's just so much. So that's the backyard, not too much going on. I really need to give it a good clean, you know, pluck out all the weeds. Look at this box. This is my one of my pan, two of my pineapples and I thought they would have put out fruits, but no, nothing this year. So I guess next year, I'm gonna have to clean out these boxes. So guys, these are two guava, two baby guavas are coming up. Here is another guava. And, and right down here is another guava. So this plant has four guavas on there, even though it's so small. Guys, look, I have my own merengue plant. Woohoo! I always wanted to get my own merengue. Finally got one. My neighbor gave me a piece of their tree and um, stuck it in the ground. And now I've watered it and it has catch and it's doing well. It's coming up. I'm so excited. This plant, let me tell you, it is good. It has so much benefits by just eating the leaves okay it's good for a lot of different things okay this is the merengue okay so this is one of my squash plants the other one i up uprooted because i never do well with squash anytime i plant these as you can see the leaves devastated I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave this one. Hopefully it might do something. I might get something from it. I don't know. I'm not gonna leave it. What do you think? Comment down below if I should pull it up or if I should leave it. It's my parsley and my basil. Basil, I think we need to get some new plants in. I don't know, I've sown some of the seeds that came from the top right there, as you can see. Those are seed seedlings at the top, or seeds. I put them in the ground, I keep watering them. I don't know if they're gonna come to anything, but let's see. But my parsley, it is very flush and nice, I love that. And this here is another mint plant. You can put it in your meat, whatever it is that you want to put it in. Soup. I think you can even make it as a tea. So we'll see what happens. It's pretty much going to get bigger and spread over and take over this bed. But I'm going to keep pruning it because I don't want it to really take over this bed. Here I have, in this bed also had some carrots last year. And this carrot self-seeded came back. Here I have um, some okra. I've sown these a couple weeks ago. They're coming up, but they're so small. And um, let's watch and see how they'll do for the summer. Here goes two more coming up right there. 
Here I have a broccoli. And I think I need to cut this because it's not going to get any better. I think it's already going to seeds because it's so hot. And you know, broccoli is a cool temperature um, plant. Now over here, these are some sweet potatoes again. And I really want this sweet potato for the summer because I'm not going to do so much in this bed. I want the sweet potato to take over this bed. See? So many empty spaces. I've taken out the um, the peas and what else I had in there? I had some other stuff in there. Tomato, right? So I really want this to this potato. It's three of them to just spread and run throughout this entire bed and give me a whole bunch of sweet potatoes. Okay. So we keep you updated on that. Over here I have, I don't know if you can see them, these are onions. I started them from seeds and they are coming up. Should have already been bigger, but you know, Florida and it's so hot, it's just different growing this thing here in this kind of temperature. But those are onions. Now over here I have, these are large cherry tomatoes. I don't know how they're gonna really do in the summer because none of my tomatoes last summer came and gave me any fruit. But I put them right here because I have this pine tree that's like shadowing over. So they're getting like partial sun. So I'm hoping that with the partial sun, they'll do better. So let's see what happens. And then here, I'm gonna get these up soon. Over here, these are kohlrabis. Not much going on with this. I think AFib's already starting on these, so I'm gonna have to get these up. And they did not do well. The kohlrabis did not do well. I have one more baby white eggplant coming in. Here I have a little pepper plant with some blossoms on there. Hopefully it will do well. Don't know yet. Here I have another papaya tree. And this one has on two fruits. I don't know if because it's um partly sh shaded by the tree why there's only two fruits on here because that one in the back is doing much better but you see it is partly shaded by this tree I believe this is a heat tolerant tomato. That's what it says on the tag and that's why I purchased it because tomatoes really don't do well or don't come at all in Florida during the summer times. But I picked this up at the store. I think I paid four, four, $5 for this plant. It has on a few tomatoes and I think this is a determinate um, tomato. So after whatever fruits that it bears, the tree is pretty much gonna die. That's what the determinant does. Okay, so it has on quite a few, not much. Looks like six fruits on there. Last but not least, I wanna show you my pineapples that are growing. Here goes one of my pineapple. Look how big that pineapple is. And guys, I'm telling you, these are sweet. They're usually sweet. Here's another one. This one is gonna be so small. I think I alone will eat this one. <laughs> God's willing. Here is another one. Look how big this thing is. 
and these are the real organic pineapples real organic pineapples and they are so sweet and right next to it I'm gonna remove it I don't I'm not sure if I'm gonna plant it in the yard maybe if my husband allows me to but this is a rose apple sucker a rose apple tree sucker so last year when we did got those um, rose apples I, I tossed pretty much all the seeds in this bed and so far I've seen this one coming up and this one coming up so I might um, transplant them because after my pineapple is done I am going to redo this bed so I have to take everything out and replant so I might he might allow me to put one in the yard because these things they get very big okay so that's my pineapple so I have three on this end so I have three pineapples on this end and over here here goes another pineapple this one didn't do anything so hopefully next year it will bear these are blackberries and I think I should have put this container out more into the Sun maybe I would get more blackberries but who knows I'm gonna leave it right there. there's another pineapple plant did not do anything this year also in this bed I have <laughs> I have in this bed this mint plant that like overtake everything it oh my goodness this mint just spread I think they call it is it the Mexican mint I forgot the name of it or I think they call it the Mexican mint it just overtook the bed guys if I'm not wrong I believe this is yellow yam and this is from my compost pile like I have my scraps back my kitchen scraps I just throw them into the bed and I saw this coming up I think this is um, yellow yam but I can't even stick the vine because it's all tangled up into the mint so here is another pineapple plant that is you know crowded by this mint and here's another one back here but this one oh i just got pricked this one put out in pineapple right there in the middle you can see so i have another pineapple right here so i have five pineapples all together thought i was going to get more but i'm still grateful for what i have okay so that's my main tour my mini tour oh and I do also have another pineapple right here but again nothing but I won't give up and as long as you water them they'll do okay eventually you know they have their time when they put their fruits on them they don't so just have to keep watering them and that they don't die Right here, I have some kale, as you can see. And in this pot, I have some Swiss chard. Now over here, I have some cowpeas. These are my cowpeas, and they're trellising up a little mesh fence right there also this fence right here so I really wanted to take over the fence in and that's the reason why I've planted it so close to this fence here goes some cowpeas pod and it's putting out more blossom know what this plant is I'm not gonna give you the name 
but if you're from Jamaica and even if you're not from Jamaica but you're from any of the Caribbean countries I think you might know this plant so comment down below and let me know what this plant is it's a mystery I won't give you the name <laughs> here I have some more of that same plant so if you know it guys comment down below let me know I will tell you if you get it correct so guys again if you're new to my channel welcome 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 please go ahead and subscribe to my channel while you're here press the notification bell to be the first to know when my next video is out also give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below okay so talk to you guys see ya bye